Hello everyone, Cap here. Welcome back to Cap Raids. Uh, today, check it out. Oh, it's cool. Um, <laughs> it's the new look. This is us every, or we can wear it backwards as well. Look at that. How, how cool. How co I'm one of the cool kids. Um, we are on the test server. Thank you to Plarium as always for letting us on the test server. And this patch has been a bit of a weird one because, well, the fusion started and we had the fusion champion, Hackmaster Shayek, added to the game uh, well, just this week, last week, sorry, last week, I should say last week. But we're going to have, of course, Clan Siege dropping on the 10th. That's tomorrow, <laughs> right? And stay tuned for more information on that. We will be doing showcases from the test server. I haven't done them yet, but uh, be doing that later. I think maybe that'll be out tomorrow. We'll see. But what we do have today are some new champions being added in alongside uh, the rework champions. So Let's dive in and let's take a look. First of all, Diamant, the Diamant Copper Coin, a new Ogren Tribe Void. This is, remember I was talking about the Ogren, I, I did my speculation video on kind of Warhammer characters that I think could be cool as faction unity uh, car heroes in, in Raid Shadow Legends. And I talked about Greasus Goldtooth. Check out Greasus Goldtooth from Warhammer. And tell me that this guy is not inspired by Greasus. He doesn't have like the whole cart he's been shipped around in. But this guy is very much Greasus. But let's take a look. He is a new Void support legendary. 112 base speed is very high. Decent stats for that otherwise support. 20% speed in all battles. Or it's okay. You know, we've got Void Legos with 24%. 20% is a bit better than the 19% of normals. It's all right. Um, the Hand of Diamant, it's a good name, attacks all enemies, heals all allies by 5% of this champ's max HP, and an additional 2% of his max HP for each buff on this champion. AoE A1 is nice, this will work well with counterattack, ally attack, probably adds up to a surprising amount of healing, he probably, he's a support, so building him with high HP does make sense. Charitable Donation, 5 books to a 3 turn cooldown, attacks all enemies, increases all ally buffs by a turn, Fills this champion's turn meter by 10%, and an additional 5% for each buff that had its duration increased by this skill. What is interesting about this, so look, AoE attack is nice, increasing ally buffs is nice. It's really all about the turn meter, Phil, but I mean, if you've got, let's say you've got, in Hydra, let's say you've got six allies, let's say they've got three buffs each, that's 18 buffs. 18 by 5, what's that? That's uh, duh, duh, duh. that's 90%, right? Uh, plus 10% like that. There you go. In Hydra, very easy to just give them a, a, an extra turn straight away. So that becomes actually pretty potent with a relatively small number of buffs. Uh, you will be actually one of the most consistent buff extenders and probably pretty consistent healer, so not bad. Protection Racket, 5 books to a 3 turn cooldown, puts 3 intercept stacks in a target ally, also puts 50% increased resistance and 25% strengthen on all allies for two turns. Okay, I'm liking this as well. So he puts out increased resist strengthen, then he's extending it, he's going super fast, he's healing. He's going to keep this up like all the time. He's going to actually spread intercept around your team pretty quickly as well. And let's say in Hydra, that intercept could disrupt your mischief tanking a bit. But considering he brings increased resistance, you don't need a mischief tank on the team. That's where sort of the point of the buff, just resist everything anyway. And you've, you're building up intercepts probably pretty darn quickly to protect your team from Head of Torment as well. So not, ma not bad that like Kingpin has a 50% chance to convert a debuff into a buff before it's placed on this champion. Works with the fall. This was something I speculated it could be an interesting... Uh, counter to uh, an interesting replacement to polymorph right because polymorph is so powerful rather than nerfing it they could replace it with something like this but this is maybe uh, maybe they took that idea and made it a passive instead obviously they would have designed this champion way before i suggested it what i'm saying is they probably thought of the same idea and then dismissed it and they're like well that'd be cool for a champion but yeah he can change decrease attack into increase attack decrease defense, blah 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 None of this seems particularly useful. Like, where do you get decreased crit rate or crit damage? He's a, a you know, increased attack. He, he does do damage with attack, but I don't think any of this stuff is really going to be that beneficial. Like, the decreased speed into increased speed is nice, but I don't feel like you get these debuffs all that often, so we'll see. But it's, it's a cool passive. So, yeah. How do I feel about this guy? He feels... Okay, I feel like he, I think he's sort of only okay. Like, yeah, he's going to be very consistent at buff extending. He's going to take a lot of turns. He'll probably do okay damage to some Warmaster. 
I don't know, like he's not wowing me as a void legendary because, you know, I'd much rather probably have Grazor who can bring increased resistance. Uh, he can also extend our buffs, but he's doing lots of damage and he's provoking and stuff as well. I, I feel like I'd rather have the Grazor, but I don't know. So initial impressions, not too excited about him, but at least he's sort of interesting and a, a decent intercept champion. He seems like sort of okay, I would say. Next over, we've got the Lizard Man and we've got the Faction Unity. Lizard, there he is. Looks decent. He looks cool. Um, He's a lizard. He's a man. That's, I guess he ticks the boxes, I suppose. Not the most insane looking champion, really. Like, I'll be honest. He took that banner off of him. Let's be real. I mean, you know, like, who's a pretty cool looking, like, Slasher looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe, maybe Slasher doesn't look super cool. Uh... I don't know. Does he look all that different from, from the rares? He's a bit more detailed than the rares. Yeah, okay. He's a bit better than the rares. But, you know, like Jarang, give Jarang a banner. <laughs> Jarang with a banner is almost as cool as this guy. He's get a bit more detail in like the shoulder plate and stuff. Not, not the coolest looking. Let me put it like that. So his aura, 30% attack in all battles and 40 accuracy for lizards. Not bad. Uh, 103 base speed, he is squishy enough. He's got a decent attack stats. He is an attack uh, spirit affinity champion. Let's take a look at him. Gorilla Tactics, or Gorilla, if you play Far Cry 6. Attack one enemy two times. Ally with the highest crit damage will team up and join the attack. The ally joining the attack is their default skill. Damage dealt by this champion and the ally joining the attack will increase by 10% for each debuff on the target up to 100%. Okay, this is actually extremely good. So it's a double hitter that brings in your hardest hitting champion for an ally attack and it does more damage. That's very, very, very good. That's beastly. Okay. Draconic Retribution. Four goes to a three turn cooldown. Attacks one enemy three times. Each hit ignores 10% of the target's defense for each debuff, stacking up to 50%. Each hit also increases this champion's attack by 10% up to 50%. Gets an extra turn if he kills an enemy. This is probably, this is going to be a massive single target hit. Um, in arena hard to make that work debuffs not really a thing but like in i'm looking at hydra so far that's a great a1 this a2 is gonna smack as well i'm assuming that like the second passive is a bit weird like is this stacking based off of the debuffs doesn't read like it's kind of hard it's unclear what this is doing i'm assuming that the first time you use it one two three hits 10 20 30 percent attack then the second time you go and now that you go 40, 50, and then you're maxed out, I'm guessing. Um, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but we'll see how that works. That could clap. And here we go, the faction unity stuff. So first of all, we've got a four turn books to a three turn cooldown. Wrath of the Legion attacks all enemies before attacking, but it's increased attack and increased crit damage on this champ for two turns. Extra hit on enemies under debuffs. Well, look, it's a self buff. That's really nice. That's great for live arena, but it definitely feels like these extra hit mechanics, these can often hit insanely, insanely hard, uh, but it's going to be very important to have that effect in there. One faction ally ignores strength and ally protection shields. That's nice. This reminds me a lot of um, Lazarius, actually. Two faction allies. If enemies are killed by this skill while under a debuff, puts block or revive on them. Woo! And three faction allies does 20% more damage for each debuff on each enemy. Dear Lord, this is absolutely bananas. So this feels like you just put him into a, into a team in arena. Like you go into your classic or tag arena, you just YOLO with polymorph. Because my God, goodness, if you land any debuffs on them, this is going to hit so hard and you just block revive and destroy them. That's kind of nuts. Passive, survival at all costs, fills his turn meter by 5% whenever an enemy or an ally receives a debuff. Very strong as well. One faction ally, 25% chance to counterattack whenever an ally is attacked by an enemy under a debuff. I wonder if that brings in another ally, if that brings in your ally attack as well. That's insane. I'm guessing it probably doesn't, but you'll probably hit pretty hard. Uh, two faction allies, decrease the damage he receives from enemies under debuffs by 50%. That's great for keeping alive in Hydra. In Arena, it's probably not going to be enough, but cool. The damage allies receive from enemies under debuffs are 20%. Oh, all three faction allies. All allies are immune to sheep. Holy shit. Okay, this guy just became in. He started off looking a little bit bland. He just became insane. So let's see. Oh my God. Right, we put him in to Classic. If you got Lazarius like I do, this guy's bananas. Let's say you don't. Put him in with Romantu. 
and all, almost anything else, right? I guess you could put him with Nekmo Thar for a speed speed team. Teox, like Nekmo, or even you could have a go second team. Have like Teox in there, maybe Sulfurion to destroy their stone skin. Put in Romantu, who does a lot of debuffs. Um, Nekmo does a good few. Obviously, Draco's decreased defense weakened. Jeez, like there's quite there's quite a bit here that you could do. Um, I think Virgum Car can even can he strip buffs? No, uh, yeah, he can, and he can put heal reduction, decreased defense. You've got quite a few powerful combo champions that can strip buffs, can place debuffs. Romantu is big, but you make them, you make Romantu immune to sheep. Just let him go, let him do his thing, and then we've got a massive double hit, self buffing that can block revive, and it's just gonna clap. Massive single target hit, ally ta like holy moly. This guy's bananas. I think he's really strong as well. Let's see. For Hydra, okay. I mean, two faction allies is pretty darn good. We don't need three. Over here, we'd actually quite like the three, honestly, for this. He's got a good aura as well. For Hydra, Krisk. I could put him in with Krisk. You've got one faction ally. Easy. You could put him in with Lazarus if you got him. You could put him in with Nekmo. Maybe. It's a little bit overlap with Krisk. Uh, to a certain extent, but it's doable. Like, yeah, you could you could do it. Crocmar is good. You could put in Draco as your decreased defense weakened champ. You could make it work. And yeah, I like he's this guy will do a lot of damage. Yeah, I I wonder. Like, hmm, that's that that could potentially be good. I I think there could be multiple sorts of teams he built. So he's actually pretty cool. I think this is a very very cool faction unity champion. He's very squishy, no question. He's squishy, but he will do a lot of damage. And very powerful faction unity effects. It's a small faction, but it's quite decent. You've got decent champs in here. Yeah, there is potential there for sure. In the Skinwalkers is just Loriaka. I don't have her, so she's a red dot. But she is now buffed, of course. Block debuffs increase accuracy with 20% turn meter. AoE decrease accuracy, decrease resistance. Turn meter boost. Um, filling turn meter can steal buffs. Yeah, so she's more simple. Uh, she's more, much more powerful. I think she's decent now. Then, let's see in Demon Spawn. Ooh, another mythical. Carnage is there for free. Now we've got Commodus Dark Smile. I love this design. <laughs> that is hilarious. The tiny little wings. I, I love it. You know, you've got Carnage. I like the contrast. Sorry, Carnage, who's like, I'm a freaking badass freaking demon. I'm just super cool. I'm a super cool demon. It doesn't exist. There he is. Wait, he's really small. Okay, no, he's not. It's just need to zoom in. Carnage is a badass. Then we've got the really ugly, impish demon. I dig it. I dig it. So he's the support. Uh, magic affinity support. Uh, high HP and defense. 110 speed. Good stats. Good stats. He's a mythical. Good stats. Stoke anguish. Attack one enemy two times. Each hit decreases their defense by 2% up to 20. And steals 10% turn meter. Okay. Agony overwhelming. Three turn cooldown. Attacks all enemies. Removes all buffs from all enemies. And puts block active skills on them for two turns. And steals 20% turn meter from each enemy. That's a quite a big turn meter steal. Buff strip, block active skills. That's powerful. That is definitely powerful. Reminding me a bit of Galathir here, but he's in form one, which could be locked out. Thief of Joy attacks one enemy, steals 100% turn meter, and puts the target skills on cooldown. Three turn cooldown. He's going to be very good at target lockout, actually, because he's got turn meter steal on this. He's got turn meter steal here. Um, he has turn meter steal. He's going to be very fast, zipping around. Dramatas, uh, Dramatis Misere. Whenever this champion loses 30% HP or more in a single turn, deals damage to the attacker equal to 30% of his max HP. <laughs> so we build him. You're going to want to build him with accuracy. Decent, maybe like 500 or so. He's got the ignore resistance, so you can get away with a little bit less. But put a ton of HP on and like attack nukers will just kill themselves. That's hilarious. Also, when this champion loses 30% HP or more in a single turn, puts a shield equal to 30% of max HP on him for two turns. Okay, that's decent. He's probably going to outrun it pretty quick, but um, that's that's actually kind of funny. Uh, AD accuracy and all battles. All right, nice. Let's see form two. So he's still HP. Oh my god. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Oh my god. It's, it's, it's Fat Joker. Fat Joker. That is hilarious. This is the ugliest mythical champion in the game, and I'm I'm here for it. I love it. I tip my hat to the 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 art team once again. This he is amazing, amazing. Volatile performer attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a fifty percent chance of placing a bomb. Heals him by ten percent max HP for each bomb placed. Okay. 
Explosive showstopper, three turn cooldown. Attacks all enemies, puts two bombs. These bomb. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Instantly detonates all bomb debuffs on enemies with stone skin or enemies whose HP is less than his. Then puts stun for one turn on all enemies who had bombs detonated. This guy's insane. So, like, he's, you, you can't lock him out of the, like, lock him out form one. He's going to be fast. He's going to be fast. High HP, high speed, high accuracy. Swap to form two. AoE bombs instantly blow them up on stone skin. His bombs must scale off HP. This is the first HP scaling bomb. I'm presuming. I, I'd be shocked if it scaled off of attack. Every other bomb champion in the game has scaled off of attack. Bombs fully ignore defense. 100% defense ignore always. They always do the same damage. They scale with weaken. Weaken makes them more powerful. Um... But yeah, he's the first one that scales off HP instead, which means he's going to be survivable. This is so strong, and it's also a stun. That's crazy. It's going to be fairly easy to instantly explode those bombs as well. Like, high HP, he's going to go crazy. The only problem is going to be really high HP cleansers, I would say. Uh, Killer Encore, four-turn cooldown. Heals him by 50% max HP. Puts weak, there's the weaken. Weaken on all enemies for two turns, then gives an extra turn. There's risk with this for Polymorph, for sure. If they've got Polymorph, you're in trouble, but if they don't, again, you're going to just kill people, I think, without, you know, if they don't have stone skin, they're going to die. Stone skin, yeah, oh my god, okay. What's this do? The last laugh, 100% chance to reflect all bomb debuffs placed on him back to the attacker. That's weird, but okay. Also has a 30% chance to reflect all other debuffs placed on this champion back to the attacker. That's good. Heals him by 20% max HP whenever an enemy is killed by bomb. He's got so much self-healing in his kit. Yeah, I, uh, this guy's going to be nuts. I think this guy could shake up the meta big time. Like, genuinely, this guy's going to be nuts. Form 1 is just a generally powerful, yeah, lots of turn meter stealing, lock out, block active skills. Form 1 is bananas. Um, then Form 2 is insane as well. Self-healing. And then these really powerful bombs. I'm, uh, we'll see what the multipliers are like. I think this guy is incredibly good. This guy is an absolute monster. That's terrifying. I, I love it. Oh, God, that's going to destroy so many defenses. Uh, Mariska, just, I guess, use Mariska, and he, he forced him to stay in Form 1, because Mariska passive uh, puts out block damage whenever you put bombs out, which is a problem for him. And then, of course, we've got the Jing Wan rework as well, who's now become really good. And double hit AoE, four turn cooldown. First hit strips buff. Second hit decrease accuracy, decrease crit damage, strengthen for your team. Uh, it's A2, three turn cooldown AoE. Increase enemy debuffs and put block active skills and block buffs. That's so good. This A1 transfers all debuffs, chance to stun the passive. Yeah, Jing Wan now became real good as well. We might do, uh, I don't have obviously Jing Wan or Loriaka on my actual account. Uh, we might do showcases of these champs. Um, we might do showcases of them. I actually wonder, I think it could be a good time for a Jing Wan guaranteed. It's been a while since the last void. I think he's pretty hyped now, honestly. I mean, we'll see, we'll test him out, but I could, see, I could totally see. Let me know what you think. I could totally see a Jing Wan guaranteed happening. Who would have thought? It could happen. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of these new champions. We've got, I'm sort of feel, feeling a bit mid about Diamant. He seems okay, but not too exciting. I think this Lizard guy is insane. There's obviously going to be a summon pool for him. There'll probably be a 10x event for him uh, between the fusions as well, most likely. But yeah, but Teox, uh, not great art-wise, very bland. But my goodness, is he powerful? And uh, this is a game changer. All allies immune to sheep. Like, that will let you build some insane teams with Romantu. That's very cool. And uh, this this guy is is so strong. Fat Joker strikes again. I love Carnage, ultimate badass. Fat Joker. I think he's way, I think he's quite a bit stronger than Carnage. What do we think? I wonder could he be a good Hydra damage dealer? A we weaken with extra turn. The extra turn can be a downside to an extent because you run out of your turns. But these bombs might do good damage, and then he's got bombs in his A one. I wonder. Could he be good for Hydra? I don't know. Guys, listen, there we go. Cool champs, let me know what you think. And I'll see you soon, I'm sure, because there's going to be lots of news on uh, the new Siege mode coming soon. So I'll see you for that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.